Hey folks and welcome back to the channel. Happy Catty Crypto here. So I hope that all, all had a really, really nice weekend. I hope the weather's been nice for you and I hope you did get out and did a few things. Now, pretty much today's uh, starter video, whatever you want to call it for the day, is to pretty much just go over the board, cover a few things on the circulating supply for Luna Classic um, and just pretty much speak about the market, stamp down on some FUD that's circulating and pretty much get you folks up to scratch as to where we stand this morning. So as you can see across the board, we have got a lot of coins attempting large breakouts. What I consider a large breakout is around 50 to 70% upwards. Anything underneath that can be considered either a fake out or I mean just not really attempting to make a, a strong move upwards where we, we pretty much have the majority of the market is attempting to move upwards. And as you can see, Bitcoin has been making that steady, healthy move upwards. And it's very important that we always pay attention to Bitcoin and we always look at what Bitcoin's doing. So now moving over to my Twitter feed. And if we look at my most recent posts, you folks will be able to see that I have put a tweet out this morning saying the amount of Luna Classic misinformation is a joke. And it really is. It's it's a contributing factor of multiple things. Now, a lot of people will say, well, everybody should be free to get the information um, from the source. And yes, that is true. But what a lot of people need to understand is, is, A, you're not fully in the know about what's actually developing behind the scenes. B, a lot of these people don't actually fully understand the whole situation, what's surrounding it. And they're just turning it around, using it to pretty much say to you folks that the 1.2% burn is, uh, is going to be implemented in it like tomorrow. So there's a YouTuber going around saying it was it was supposed to happen today because it was in testnet. It's it's ready. There's nine validators on board. This, that, and the other. And this is just not the case, folks. I updated you folks about this yesterday. I told you exactly what was happening. I told you how many validators was in there. Now, what's happened is, is there's people that have been going to and from the Discord group, and they've pretty much seen a little bit of information, seen that there's more validators in the test net and instantly assumed that these are actual validators. They've then gone out, made their tweets, made their videos saying that, oh, we've got another four validators on board and this is just not the case. These are just test validators, okay? It's a test net, it's in testing. It's been in testing for a while and it will be in testing until I am updated by the team as to the next steps of implementation for it or if the tests have finished. And like I say, yes, we should be all free to have this information, but if you're going to distribute it, you need to be in the full know as to what is actually transpiring. And uh, the things that are happening behind the scenes, it's no good you just reading a certain section of the chat in the group and then instantly thinking, right, this is news, needs to go out. Because all you're doing is causing misinformation. The people receiving your misinformation then get themselves in a pickle inside their own minds and instantly assume that it's going to moon tomorrow. They buy more, they add more to their bag. It doesn't moon. And then in turn, we have to deal with all of these people that end up getting themselves in a really bad mental state. And we have to calm them down and we have to bring them back down to planet earth and explain to them that this is a long process. It's not a straight road. There's going to be a lot of bumps in it. And um, yeah, it's still in testing. And even when it comes out of testing, it still needs to be implemented off, off chain and on chain, but more, more importantly on chain first. And then before this, we need to restore the governance and you folks know this. Um, so if you see anybody going around, putting bits of misinformation out there, always be careful, always come back to um, the Twitter page and double check to see if I've posted about it, if I've covered it yet, because in my opinion, and, and this is just me saying this, I know a lot as to what's going on, how it's developing. We've been following it from the start. We know the ins and outs. We know what means what, what doesn't mean what, what can happen, what we're waiting for, what's in the pipeline. Um, so yeah, it's, gonna, it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. The bigger this all gets and the more that the ball continues to roll, it's only going to get worse. And this is the same with scammers and everything like that across the board. You just re need to be really careful for all of this mis misinformation, um, scammers and things like that. It's really not good for um, the look for everything. And now 
There's a lot of people that are now jumping on the media wagon. I'm not going to say this person's name because they're not worthy of being spoken um, on the YouTube channel. But people need to understand that the more positive this whole situation becomes, all of those people that were fudding previously will then f sit there and they'll think to themselves, well, hang on a minute. I'm losing my reach here because I'm preaching about something that's clearly not true. Um, people don't want to hear this, so now I should tell them what they want to hear. And this is just the case of a lot of people. I mean, I could put posts up that would absolutely get you folks running around like headless chickens going insane, but I don't. I just tell you how it is. I keep it real, and I never build you folks up to something that isn't if something crazy was about to happen you would know and someone asked me yesterday why do i only have two million lunar classic and this is for the simple fact is that i'm just one of those people i'm not heavily invested in crypto i just have chucked 20 quid down here and there on a couple of different things throughout the course of myself doing um what i've been doing and um yeah it's not Crypto is not about going all in, folks. It's not. If you think it's about putting all of your life savings in and um, just going absolutely balls deep on it, it's not It's not how it works. Never invest what you cannot afford to lose. It's super important. Make sure you're able to pay your bills and still have spending money and still have savings because that's how life works. You have to be an adult about these things. You can't just YOLO. A lot of people I see YOLO into, YOLOing into things and it just doesn't work like this. You just, you need to second think everything all the time, no matter what happens. And like I said, just beware of misinformation, folks. Um, as to um, how today's looking, I'll be rolling out a few more updates. I've got an interview tomorrow with another entity that is looking to bring utility back to Luna Classic and the blockchain. So I'll be updating you on that as that transpires and uh, as I figure things out. So always stay safe out there, folks. Beware of scammers, doppelgangers, anybody pretending to be me. And I will catch you folks in the next one. Oh, and remember, it's not financial advice. Shloop.